Yes guys, as you can tell by the title, this is the finale and the final race of my F1 2019 modded career mode and this could potentially be my very last video on F1 2019. So hopefully you guys enjoy it, drink it in and uh, we'll be moving on to F1 2020 content very, very soon and I'll have some videos up about that and some news regarding series going live very, very soon on the channel guys. But this is the last one. We're doing it in Cockpit View as a challenge. We're going to start from the back of the grid and hopefully you guys enjoy it. It's going to be a last question mark challenge and also a day to night time race. And uh, guys, if you're going to enjoy the video, drop a like, subscribe if you are new, guys. I'm trying to hit 40,000 subs this year, and I want to try and achieve that target. Especially, I'd like to do it quite early on before F1 2020 would release, or give or take around that time. But um, we'll see what happens. Either way, guys, thank you so much for the support all season long, and we're going to jump into today's episode. Here we go then, jumping into today's episode and getting ready for the start of the race. As I mentioned, we're going to start from the back of the grid and we're just going to see how much pace we have and we're just going to push to the limit and see what we can do around Yas Marina. So this, I'm looking forward to it. It's a track that I, I quite enjoy, especially once you've got the car hooked up and it's underneath you, which is really, really good. Um, if you don't have a car underneath you and it feels horrible, it's a really bad track. So um, in this case, I think I feel pretty confident. The car felt good in practice, so I'm hoping that carries over into the race and also that guys pace is a bit of an unknown for me around here so I'm not really sure where I stand in terms of where I am amongst the shuffle and also noting as well strategy around here will be very important whether you one or two stop and also what tires you decide to use around here could be very very key so we'll see what happens and we'll assess the strategy in a moment but first of all as you can see here we are on the grid for the final time looking at everybody getting ready for the start of the race as you can see on screen we are now confirmed world drivers champion so that championship has been wrapped up and the instructors are Unfortunately, we still have a chance mathematically, but it's not going to happen because we just can't score enough points. So, um, yeah, Ferrari will pick up that crown. As you can see, the Ricardo, they're getting ready. But we're now going to move into the final grid rundown on this F1 2019 game. So here we go then, looking at the positions. P1 goes to Max Verstappen. Carlos Sainz up in second place in the McLaren. Fantastic qualifying from him. Danny Kofia in P3 for Ferrari. And Bottas in fourth. And McLaren having a really strong weekend so far here today. Day and showing some really good pace like they showed at the start of the season back in Australia. Then we've got Charles Leclerc in fifth, Lewis Hamilton P6 in the second Ferrari, Sebastian Vettel in seventh, and Sergio Perez, our teammate, in eighth place. So Sebastian Vettel, really good lap from him in the Mercedes. Alex Albon P9, Pierre Gasly runs off the top 10. Oh, Nick Hulkenberg, P11, and Antonio Giovinazzi in 12th on row number 6. On row 7, we have uh, Kevin Magnussen ahead of Daniel Ricciardo. Great qualifying from him. And George Russell done in P15 with a 10 plate grid penalty with Kimi Raikkonen alongside him. And then towards the back, it's Grosjean and Norris. And alongside us is going to be Lance Stroll. And we are going to start from the back of the grid for the very last time in this game. So guys, that is your grid rundown. Let's jump into the race and let's see how we get on here at Abu Dhabi for my final ever race in this game. Let's get to work. Right guys, this is it. We're starting from P20 and last and we've got a massive job on our hands to try and fight our way back through. Strategy wise, we're going to start on the mediums, the slower compound and then move on to soft tires later on. There's still an outside chance we, we may two stop it because I feel like the two stop could be quicker. Um, if we do two stop it, we'll do a medium soft soft and we'll kind of cut the medium tires in a little bit shorter, um, which is an option I do fancy. You know, if we're stuck in traffic, it's going to be a really good option for us. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I think there's definitely lots of variables here today but for now the target is simple really have a lot of fun and see if we can try and get maybe a top five that would be a good result so uh, yeah without further ado let's jump into it and let's end this on a high right here we go then last time we're going to try and get a good start here let's see if we can do that lights are on good reaction to the five lights that's not a bad start to be fair i've had a lot worse than that i've turned off the halo column for this race as uh, i feel like it'll give some of you guys better visibility. I know it, this isn't everybody's cup of tea, so hopefully um, removing the halo column will help for some of you guys who don't enjoy this particularly. But here we go then. Let's get down to business. Let's try and get some moves done. Oh, that was close. I had to completely turn out of that as we try to navigate the Williams cars here. First of all, trying to get past Lance Stroll, who's on medium tyres. Looks like we have got that move done as we go into the hairpin now. We've got uh, Toro Rosso on the mediums along with uh, Norris there side by side on soft tyres. Looks like Rojan won't get much of a toe here, so we might be able to look for a pass on these boys down towards the brake zone. Let's see where we can go. On the brakes, let's be cautious. Everyone's going to brake check and go really early on the brakes. We're going to set up a switchback of sorts right on Rojan's gearbox here. Had to get off the throttle a little bit as I lost momentum. 
But I might be able to challenge here on the brakes, possibly. I'll say that. Grosjean's going to challenge Norris instead. Easy does it. Let's just be cautious about this. Through this tricky Mickey Mouse section, we are going to get on the inside of Grosjean. He turns in on us, but we do get in front. Luckily for us, no wing damage. So there we go. We're through. Up to P18. And we're past two medium tire runners, which is crucial for strategy. All right, up next, Lance Stroll has been passed, so it's Landon Norris in the other Williams. Let's go hunting and let's try and get past as soon as we can. To be fair, I might be able to get this move quite quickly if I turn the engine up here. Put him under some pressure early on. Oh, I'll say that. Whew. Maybe not. He goes defensive, which he didn't really need to do. I was never going to go for a move there, but that's just going to make things easier for me as we look for a move on him. No DRS just yet, but we should be able to get this one done with just pure slipstream. Average exit, no DRS, but let's see. We've got pretty good straight line speed at the top end, right at the end of the straight. Here we go. Easy move. We should get this one done before the break zone. And we do. Job done. All right, P17. Up next is the Alpha of Kimi Raikkonen. Also on medium tyres, so let's go hunting. We've got a bit of a gap to catch up here. The leaders are so far away after just three laps. So much time has been lost already. I'm almost like almost a pit stop behind Verstappen, I would say. There's a lot of cars who are struggling for pace and having issues. I think here we've got a Mercedes, possibly, or an Alpha with some issues. But we're now behind Kimi Raikkonen, who's on medium tyres. Let's try and find a way past him if we can. Kimi does go defensive into that. Going to put him under some pressure into the final corner. Get the switch back on him through there, but we just can't get the acceleration. Personal best, though. Good pace. Let's stick with it. Right into the hairpin. DRS is now enabled now, so we'll run it a bit wide on purpose. Get the switch back on the Iceman. He's going to edge away because of acceleration issues, but we'll now use the DRS and use the top end speed that we've got to pull it back. Here we go. Got the straight line speed difference. Job done. We run it a little bit hot on the brakes, which is going to affect us, but luckily we keep Kimi behind and we don't lose our front wing. So there we go. That's another overtake done. Now P16, George Russell up next. If we can get past him, there's a massive gap out on track ahead of these guys. If we can clear all this traffic, would be that'd be great. I wonder if we can get something through here, possibly, over this little chicane section. Had a little look, but we'll back off because I know Russell's going to turn into me there every single time. That's what the AI do. I've got very good speed through turns two and three. We gain a lot on the AI. Good momentum. As we go into the chicane, let's see if we can... Make a few more places up on this lap. I need to start getting aggressive and getting the elbows out. As we go into the hairpin once again. We're going to get that kind of switch back line that we did last lap. Not as close to uh, Russell as we were to Kimi, but still close enough. I think we can challenge here on the brakes. Let's see. It's going to take a bit of a dive, I think, to get this one done. Russell keeps it under control, to be fair. Good braking from him struggling to find um, acceleration at the minute. We need to get by. He's now on the back of this Mercedes, who of course we know is struggling. Three wide here, possibly. We're going to use that as an opening. We're going to go to the outside of Russell here, inside of the Toro Rosso, and we pick up two places. There we go. Very cheeky. We slip past both of them. Crucial move. P14. Giovinazzi up next. He's the one with issues, so it should be quite easy to pass. Let's see if we can find the next boy and uh, the, just dispatch of him quite quickly. We, if we can build a gap to Russell, that'd be great because I feel like he's faster than me around here. But if we can get this early advantage over him, that would help us out massively. We've got another slow car in front as well, I've just realized. Looks like a McLaren. Quite a few cars struggling today. Reliability pretty poor now. Final race of the season, cars will struggle. We are much quicker though than Giovinazzi. We'll keep it flat through here and we'll close in massively. I think we should be able to get him on the back straight because he won't have the RS, I don't think. And if he does, he won't have much of a slipstream. They are battling very heavily in front. Oh my goodness me, we've closed up completely in that chicane. We're going to again go for the same strategy. Get that switch back down. Power down. Good acceleration there. Really, really good traction for once. We're going to switch to the right because I want to get the slipstream from the AI. There we go. We're past Giovinazzi. P13. A little bit cautious on the brakes through here, you never know. But this is definitely the McLaren that's struggling for grip. Power down, struggling there again. Just using a bit too much outside curb. 
Let's see if we can follow through its signs in the McLaren. I wonder if we can get on the outside. He is struggling for grip, so this should be an easy move. We have to correct the steering as signs comes across. Luckily, no wing damage. I thought I was going to clip a bit of front wing off. But we're now P12, so there we go. Now we're making progress. We're absolutely flying. Right, there we go. Personal best. Good pace. Looks like the Ferraris are battling for P2, and Verstappen has completely disappeared into the distance. He's out front by himself, and he's miles ahead, but... At the minute, we're behind Magnussen. In front of him is uh, Alfa Romeo. Uh, I think it's Hulkenberg on medium tyres, so we need to try and get past him to be the lead medium tyre runner in this race. Starting to struggle my rears a little bit now. All those overtakes are starting to play a part, and uh, we're losing a bit of rear grip. I'm looking at the mini-map. You can see Verstappen out front by himself, but there's a bit of a hold-up for P2 of the Ferraris, and I do wonder if I two-stop this and went for the mass undercut on the soft onto soft tyres, could we undercut everybody here if we went early? I'm weighing up. The only issue is I think the AI are going to pick this lap, so could make things more complicated, but maybe an overcut could work. You know, we stay out a few more laps on these. We'll have to keep an eye on it because this could be a key part of the race. It could give us a lot of positions if we play our cards right here. Verstappen pits, and I think a few more cards will pit as well, so let's see who else goes in. There we go. That's going to open things up a little bit. We still have a snap and a wheel rejoin behind me. So crucially, he's a pit stop ahead pretty much, but still behind us. So uh, we've still got track position over him. P5. Oh, that's the understeer. I have to get off the gas there. Let's see if we can make a move on Magnussen soon. Okay, Magnussen has got past Hulkenberg. Now Hulkenberg is going to be the next car, which is better for us. We need to get past him. Only issue is he's DRSing Magnussen. So it's kind of hard, really. They keep on doing it to each other, so it's hard for me to get the benefit of straight line speed. And now we've got Verstappen behind us for, you know, just a bit more pressure. These boys are still side by side. I'm just going to try and wait for an opportunity. Verstappen having a look on the inside there, but no way through. Magnussen should pit as well this lap, so I should release us to be right on the back of Nigel Hulkenberg. Let's see. Try and look for a way past the Alpha and try and stay ahead of Verstappen as long as I can. I'm really considering the undercut though, I really am. Like, we'll see what happens. Verstappen now is going to be all over the back of us as we move on into P2 in this race. Hulkenberg, the next car. We need to dispatch of him and uh, get that front first place and uh, get that clean air. I'm sweating buckets, it's so warm today. Right, let's see. Through the chicane, easy does it. Open up the second part. Just burst of the throttle into the hairpin. Power down. Not the best exit. A little bit scruffy, but we'll have DRS. So we will get a chance to pass Nico here. Here we go. Speed difference. Kicking in now, big time. Over speed. We're going to go to the outside. And we get it done. There we go. Lovely stuff. Open up the line now to get the kind of switchback exit. And there we go. P1. We'll get to lead a few laps of this race, hopefully. Kind of hoping Hulkenberg can keep Verstappen behind, but let's focus on pulling away now and setting the pace. Hulkenberg pits, so he's potentially two stopping. Interesting. I'm going to keep an eye on the AI and look where their positions are on the minimap and make a decision this lap, whether I commit to the one or the two. Looking at the minimap, we don't have enough, I don't think. If we pit, we're going to rejump behind traffic, so I'm going to try and go for an overcut, stay out for a few more, see what happens. Uh, also, got to try and stay ahead of Max. We are very slippery on the straight, so. We're able to keep him behind at the moment. Here comes Max. He's pretty close. All we'll do is we'll turn the engine down. We won't fight it. We'll try and get DRS on the second straight. Easy does it. Again, we're in a different race to Max. So, um, you know, just got to do our own thing. We, are, we will have DRS, so we can just follow. Do our dare attempt to repass. Tempted, but we'll hang back. Let Max go on with it. We don't want to lose much more time. I'm going to try and commit to the one stop. I'm going to stick with it, I think. Looking at the minimap, it's really tricky to predict where I'm going to be. And there is a lot of spread out traffic everywhere. So I'm going to stay out, I think. Just starting to lose my rear tyres. I'm looking at the minimap. I can see Hulkenberg. That is him on the back straight right there. And he's done a pit stop. So I think we could have the gap here. I'm going to take a gamble. If this pays off and we strap on soft tyres in clean air, this could be a very exciting end to the race. So we're going to pit this lap, change the strategy once again. Purely based off of where Hulkenberg is now that the race has settled down a bit. 
We're going to box in for the soft compound tyres. We need a good pit entry, good pit stop and good pit exit. Get it all slowed down and there we go. Right, let's see. There's Hulkenberg right now. He's just coming out of the hotel section. He's got Freud behind a couple seconds of drift. So this could be key because we was ahead of Hulkenberg. So we would have rust a little bit. Release, release. 2.2, that's good. I think we can do this. Here comes Nico. We might be in a little bit of traffic. We're going to rejoin behind Kofia, it looks like, but we could be able to rejoin just in front of all this traffic here, being led by Gasly, and we do. Okay, so we've lost out the Hulkenberg, but that's okay. We've now got soft tyres. We'll do basically seven lap stints on these, so um, we shouldn't have any issues with these tyres now. And we avoid the worst part of the tyre wear, so let's see what we can do. Let's see. Kofia is up next. I wonder if we can get past straight away and get into clean air and push off the Hulkenberg. That'd be nice. We're going to close up the gap massively here on this straight and then all we've got to do is just wait for the exit and we'll get him on the second one, hopefully. There we go, tighten up and then open up the line. Use the fresh tyres and the traction to our advantage. DRS open and this should be a very simple move on the Russian at title rival, Danny Kofia. And there we go, job done. All right, Hulkenberg next. He's actually on medium tyres, so he's going to be even easier to pass. So let's get past him and then we'll be in a net P6. And we've just got soft tyres now to the finish. So that is actually, that's worked out beautifully for us. We've rejoined the front of all that queue of cars. So the overcut has been key. There is definitely a P2 up for grabs here today. With Perez currently in second place. He's at turn one. So we're all on the same straight. As we set a new fastest up at the Grand Prix. Also, a lot of these guys will be on mediums later on. So we'll also have that benefit of the soft tyres. We need to clear Hulkenberg though, because he will be on softs later. So we need to get ahead of this Alfa Romeo. So let's see if we can try and make it happen here. Going into the far chicane. If we can stay nice and close out the hairpin onto the back straight, we can get the job done. Looks like the McLaren in front is going quite slow as well. So we might be able to get past him very soon. Here we go, power down. Let's get past and make this a nice quick move. DRS open to the inside this time. We breeze past. There we go, job done. And we're ahead up into P6. Bottas is the next car. And I think he's been on those soft tires for a little while now. The AI are approaching their pit stop for mediums, if they were to go on mediums. So I think this could be a key phase in the race as we do get DRS on Valtteri as well, which is going to help us out massively. Bottas is really slow. I'm so much quicker than him on these tires. I'm kind of hoping he does pit, to be honest. But looks like he's staying out for one more at least. Through the final corner. Power down. We're right on his gearbox. No one's pitting yet, so... One more lap of the AI going pretty slow, so we need to make this count and uh, make some progress. So let's try and get past Bottas if we can. Probably the same place as Hulkenberg, to be honest. It's going to be on the back straight. Unless we get him here, we could just slide one on the inside here. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Down the inside we go. Job done. Bottas won't get a back pass with the RS because I'll make sure I get the full power down and also get a clean exit with these fresher tyres. There we go. Gap's already pulled out massively so let's go hunt down Albon he's on medium so he's gonna be staying out for at least until lap 20 so we'll get three laps to try and catch and pass him Verstappen in the pits as well looks like a few of those soft tire runners are pitting in and they're gonna go into mediums now it looks like we'll get confirmation on that hopefully later on but yeah I think they're pitting for mediums so we're now P3 Albon's re is actually just right behind Max is rejoined just in front of him Max is now on the medium tyres as well, so let's see if we can try and hunt down Alex here and try and get past if we can. Ooh, Albon pits already. Okay, that's quite early to be fair. That might be another set of mediums for him then, if he's gone that early. Well, we're now P2. We've got until lap 21, which is when I'm thinking of pitting. So uh, we might bring that forward to lap 20 to avoid a Hulkenberg undercut. That would cover us off quite nicely, so oh, that was a big one. Yeah, we might bring our pit stop forward by a lap. But the chase for second place is on in this race, 100%. We'll snap a new fastest lap, 32.8. We're about a second off, so it's not too bad to be fair. We've now dropped Hulkenberg quite a bit, so even if he undercuts us, we should be okay. Right, here we go. Going to turn the engine down. I've got enough of a gap to Hulkenberg that even if we pit and he pits behind me, I don't think we should get held up. Not 100% certain where the pit boxes are, but I think we've got an earlier one, which would mean we'd get held, but I think... The gap's around five seconds, which should be enough to cover us off. Here we go. 
It's a pit lane for our final stop. A lap earlier than expected, but this is to uh, protect the undercut. And also, you know, it doesn't allow the guys who pit before on the mediums, like Perez, Leclerc, and them guys to uh, gain too much. They're actually sitting behind traffic at the minute, so we might actually benefit. And uh, here we go. Do we get held? K key moment. Perfect. We didn't get held. There goes Raikkonen and Perez. Right, so we're going to rejoin P7, it looks like. On the back of these boys, there's Albon in front of us. He's on mediums once again. We can definitely get second. They're all being held up by Raikkonen, who I believe has to stop. And I think he'll stop this lap as Hulkenberg had to stop first. So, let's see. There's a, there's a Toro Rosso in there as well. So, fair play wherever that Toro Rosso is. I'm guessing it's Ricardo having a great race. Right, full bar VRS. Let's get down to business. Seven laps to get ourselves onto what would be a very unexpected podium. So, uh, let's do this. All right, let's see. We've got a few cars peeling off into the pit lane as expected. Raikkonen and the Toros of Rojan box in. So we're now P5 once again. Three cars in front, both Hasses and my teammates. So it's Racing Point versus Hass here for the remaining podium places as Verstappen is going to win this race. This is going to get very tasty. Here we are, DRS on Alex Albon here. Don't think I'm close enough for an attempt. Or oh, I'll say that. I'm actually gaining a hell of a lot here. We are going to send this one to the outside. Albon will hold on though, but that's okay. We'll get a nice switch back at the first, then move back across at the second. Power down. Here we go. Now we'll absolutely just eat him up with the DRS. We'll swoop to the inside this time. And job done. There we go. Right, P4. Leclerc up next for that final podium spot. And then we've got to try and work with Perez to see if we can secure both of these podium positions. That would be great. A really good way to sign off. New fastest lap. 32.1, good pace. I think we can go faster than that, considering we were battling Albon for parts of that lap. Let's see if we can get within the RS range this time next lap on Leclerc. The pace is pretty solid, actually, from all these guys. I'm having to really push and uh, work hard for it. It does feel like Perez is quicker than Leclerc, but Leclerc is just hanging on because of the RS. But hopefully we can put an end to that this lap, as we're now close enough to the hash driver to make a possible overtake here. And that will allow Perez to, fingers crossed, pull away and we can solidify this result four laps to go including this one right here we go let's try and line up Leclerc for the overtake first of all the chicane get that right there we go then into the hairpin looks like Leclerc is saving energy to be fair so he might be a little bit slow we know that we're not great under acceleration but we'll start to pull him in with the top speed if I can just force him to go defensive that would be great just like that, that's what we want. Look for the switch back again through here. Taking a big chunk of that inside curb. The RS once more. Can we get close enough to challenge into this brake zone? Looks like he's actually running some pretty good straight on speed to say he's saving energy. Yeah, he is. He's got some good top end speed there with his light flashing. Very impressive. But he's now got pressure from me. So let's see if Perez can pull away. Struggling to get close to Leclerc now. He's still saving energy, but he's bloody quick. Like, I'm barely closing in on the straights. I just can't get close enough, unfortunately, with the slipstream he's getting from Perez. Just got to keep trying. My tires are starting to fade, though, which is also not ideal. Starting to lose my rears a little bit. It is a shame that a glitch that I know is in the game is going to ruin this last race. Like, Leclerc's been with his light flashing now for three laps, which means he's saving energy. But his straight on speed is just ridiculous. It's so good. I don't know how that happens. If I did that, I'd be losing over a second per straight. I just can't see myself passing now. To be honest, I'm losing my tyres. We're kind of holding on, really. Here we go, then. Final time. I'm trying not to get anything out of this. Just unfortunately, we're not close enough. Simple as that. I'm trying my hardest, but we're done out here. I was kind of hoping that maybe Leclerc would challenge Perez. And uh, by Perez going defensive, that would hold Leclerc up and I could challenge him. But... It wasn't to be, so we're not going to be able to make it a racing point double podium. I'm losing my tyres now. But in the end, you know what? I'll take that. From last to fourth place, I exceeded my expectations by far. And the pace was really, really good. The strategy was perfect. Switching to the two-stop was definitely the call because we rejoined in clean air. We got past most of the traffic. But Verstappen is your winner in the final race as we cut that corner an absolute treat. And we're going to come through in the final race for a fourth place finish. And you know what? I will take that. Thank you very much. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home.
Red Bull pulling out all the stops today. What a great win. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to every one of the team. Well, guys, there we go. It's done. The results are in and it is confirmed. We also pick up the fastest lap of the race, which is great news. But Verstappen here today absolutely dominated in Abu Dhabi. Sergio Perez picks up second, Leclerc third, and we tried it, but we couldn't quite achieve it. We ran out of tyres at the end and we have to settle for P4. Alex Albon is in fifth, so it's racing point Haas, racing point Haas. Then it's Danny Kafia in the first of the Ferraris in P6. Hulkenberg P7, Magnussen P8, Lewis Hamilton in ninth in the second Ferrari, and Bottas scores the final point. McLaren having a shocker after qualifying, you know, in the top four. Both cars, they finish only one car in the points, so a really disappointing race for them. George Russell P11, Vettel 12th, Giovinazzi 13th, Sainz P14, uh, Raikkonen 15th, Gazi 16th, and then we've got Grosjean, Ricardo, Norris, and Stroll. No retirements in the final race, which is very fitting, and the way we like to see things kind of bow out. But we look at the driver standings one more time, and we finish the season 32 points clear of Danny Kafia, 59 clear of Lewis Hamilton, oh sorry, of uh, Max Verstappen, 131 clear of Lewis Hamilton, and we finish 182 points clear of our own teammates. So we actually outscored our teammate by double. So a really good season. And the constructors, we are in second place. We closed the gap a little bit more, but it wasn't ultimately enough. Ferrari win the constructors here today and we settle for second place as Renault overtake Mercedes there for P6. But guys, that is it. The season is done. The series is done. The game is done and I've enjoyed it. I've done 10 seasons of crew mode in this year's game and it was a hell of a lot, probably a bit too much. I'm now going to take a little bit of time off, a week off, um, give or take. Um, there will still be daily videos on the channel, or almost daily, so we'll be talking about Rule RFF1 because of course the season is going to start very, very soon, and some random videos here and there, but in terms of, you know, regular crew mode content, uh, I'm going to put that on ice for a little while. Um, what I will be doing, guys, I will be streaming a lot over the next week on my Twitch, guys, so click the link down below in the description, go follow me over there, I'd greatly appreciate it, guys, as uh, streaming has become a big thing for me recently, to be fair, during lockdown, and uh, yeah, guys, that is going to be it from me here today, so if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Let's try and hit... Let's try and hit maybe 600 likes for this final video. I'd greatly, greatly appreciate that. Also, guys, if you can subscribe once again, I'm trying to hit 40,000 subs. So I'd really appreciate you guys helping me out if you could. And also, finally, check out the two videos on your screen right now if you have missed them. And along with that, click the notifications button, guys, to be notified when new content does go live. But that is it from me on this year's F1 2019 game. And F1 2020 is just around the corner. And I can't wait to get started.